Hey guys, welcome back to the Mix Academy. I'm David Glenn with themixacademy.com, home of the free multi-tracks archive. Go ahead and check out themixacademy.com with a link in the description for more information how you can get your hands on some free multi-tracks. I'm going to introduce a new series. I think this is going to be one that um, uh, I'd really like to go to Google or YouTube, type in a quick thing, and learn a quick tip. And so uh, we're going to kind of steal from Peter McKinnon, Two Minute Tuesdays, and I've seen other people do this before in the audio world. Uh, we're just going to call it Quick Tip Tuesday. I don't know that I'm going to keep it under two minutes, but we'll shoot for under five. How's that? So um, the first one here, we're going to look at uh, the song of the month. Again, free multi-tracks. Go to themixacademy.com. This song is called It's Not You. Uh, I'm going to play a little snippet, and then I'm going to show you a, uh, a fun way to bring the chorus to life or maybe a high point at the bridge or get creative with it. We're going to look at stereo bus automation. So uh, take a little listen, and then we'll show you how we do it. Without you, it's not you, I cannot keep out of my head It's not you, I'm losing sleep over, sleep over tonight Okay, sweet. So, in this video, we're talking about this stuff right in here Whoosh, All these little guys right there So, this is my stereo bus We got a good mix rocking You got something you're starting to feel a little proud of You're starting to bob your head and feel the music you want to give a little bit more life to the chorus. Now, a great arrangement is going to do this on its own, but this trick can still help even the best of arrangements just to pop a little bit more. And so I'm going to get rid of that. We're going to do it together. I'm going to snap this fader to zero. Very first thing we're going to do is just select the song, and I'm going to command click, just very gradually pull this down to that minus one there. Uh, in Pro Tools, it's going to be Command Click. If I don't hold Command, it is going to be the and yeah, and see you hold Command and you get a nice find adjustment there. So we're going to pull the whole song down minus one dB from the get go, and then I've got some markers here. I've, I'm usually pretty lazy and don't put markers for this one. We got some for tutorial sake here, but uh, let's take a listen coming out of the verse into the first chorus. I cannot think without you. It's not you. I can't just flat right pretty good arrangement we got some extra stuff that comes in we got some background vocals that's kind of sail on top a little bit we need more so we're going to go in here i'm going to make sure i'm in grid mode and i've set my tempo i'm going to make that selection and then we're going to grab and pull this back up to zero you don't want to go over zero for obvious reasons you're going to clip your your final output there oh. but uh we're going to go back to zero so now one db this is going to jump at the chorus it's not you, I cannot keep out of my head. Now, if you feel there, the drums are a little weak, you may go to your drum bus and pull up that kind of ghost fill or the fill into the chorus, or if there's anything kind of leading in, you may want to go tweak those and add some automation at the track level. But for demonstration's sake, we're going to go to the back end because a, a kind of a crutch of this, uh, a negative, would be now you're at zero, and it's louder at the chorus, what happens at the end? And we'll see this drop off here. Awesome anything you said. To the to the ear, it's not super noticeable, but us musos, us kind of audiophiles, we're gonna hear that drop off. It's a little bit too drastic. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set a kind of a decrescendo of uh, automation here. And we'll go out to like right there. And so now instead of it just dropping immediately, let me see if I can blow that up and we'll zoom in. You can see we put a break point and uh, it's just going to gradually go back down to the uh, minus one dB so we can use it again at the next chorus or the bridge or wherever we want to. So I'm not sure where I'm at time-wise, but uh, hopefully that helps you guys. Cool little trick. I will go through and I'll do this. You know, let's throw a bonus tip in there because something I usually pair this with, I have my all music bus. It's going to be my guitars, keys, synths. doesn't matter what genre. Um, this can just kind of bring a little bit of oomph to uh, a, kind of the modern structured songs, we'll say. Uh, another trick is to uh, to take and boost the width at the chorus. And I got to be careful with this one because automating the bypass of some plugins will introduce a, a glitch or a choppiness. Not all plugins are created equally. Uh, thankfully, the Isotope Ozone, back as far as Ozone 7, you could do this. So we could go ahead and uh, hit bypass on a widener. You can see I've got stereo imaging about 40% here. And then I'm going to command 
option control. So all three modifier keys, depending upon if you're on PC or Mac, but all three of the modifier keys, click it in Pro Tools, you're gonna see enable automation. I click that, command control click, but when I click on that, it snaps the automation lane. So now what I'm gonna be able to do is go find that volume automation we just did. And I'm gonna come up here and I'm gonna engage 40% more width just at the chorus. Let's see if that helps. I cannot think without you. It's not you, I cannot keep out of my head. Tell you what, for example sake, we're gonna go ahead and turn that off. We're gonna come back here and turn this off. And now let's see if it just stays flat. Probably, right? I cannot think without you. It's not you, I cannot keep out of my head. No, 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 no. We gotta turn that back on. So Cool little trick. Hope you guys dig that. We've got plenty more. We'll call it Quick Tip Tuesday, and we'll feature little tips like this for you guys to take and implement in your own mixes. Don't forget to check out the free link in the description below for multi-tracks here at the Mix Academy where we're taking the good, the bad, and the ugly of home recordings and making hit records. So we'll see you guys on the next one. Catch you then.